welcome to Action TV Sports Coverage of Colonial Football. I'm here with Mark Shire. Welcome. And we're in Cambridge, deep in the heart of uh, Boston area here as we get set to take on the Cambridge Falcons. And Mark, this is going to be interesting. You know, last week was a solid win for the Colonial team with Finn Murray passing for over 207 yards. But uh, we'll be uh, talking about that and more. We'll be right back after this message from our sponsor. Hey America, is there anything you're truly proud of? How about becoming an aviation maintenance technician? In just 14 months, you'll be watching the metal birds that you just repaired soar back into the sky. I can't think of anything else to be more proud of. At National Aviation Academy, we train ordinary men and women to do extraordinary things. Welcome to your future. Your plans are ready for takeoff. 800-292-3228 or visit bostonwingman.com. Shire, Caton, and Epstein PC, located in the historic Weatherby House, has been your community law firm for over 25 years. We have five attorneys and a supporting staff to serve your business, real estate, or estate planning needs. For more information on how we can assist you in your legal needs, contact us at 978-264-4655 or visit us online at www.skactonlaw.com. That's www.skactonlaw.com. I'm Saad Dino, pharmacist and co-owner of Acton Pharmacy, located at 563 Massachusetts Avenue in West Acton. Your source for prescriptions, medical supplies, and a flu shot for the winter ahead. Our brand new state-of-the-art compounding lab provides compounding medications customized to the patient's needs in a specialized form like a liquid, cream, or capsules. Compounding medications are a needed alternative for those that cannot take commercially available products. We are also glad to assist you in helping you understand Medicare Part D plans and choosing a prescription plan that is best tailored to your medication needs. And when you can't come to us, we'll be glad to come to you via our delivery service. This year marks our 20th anniversary serving this great community. Please join us on October 14th when we'll commemorate this anniversary here at the pharmacy by honoring you, our customer. We hope to see you then. Go AB Football. here and we just ran that you know passing yards calculation through it was 247 <laughs> yes and that it's it you know when you run it through the abacus a couple times you get a better answer so 247 congratulations to Finn Murray on that and I just really like how you know the Colonials they've been developing throughout the season and last week was really when we showed all the promise of that new wide open offense. What do you think, Mark? It was a multi-dimensional offense. And and what I loved about it is that you that they beat Concord Carlisle in so many different ways. And the most amazing play was that call on that screen pass on fourth and sixteen, fourth and goal. And I spoke with Coach Bassett. He didn't call the play. It was Jerry McGavick who called that screenplay to Cal Camp Campusano. And, uh, and that led to a touchdown, a good win for AB, but they're facing a really dangerous team, probably the most dangerous 0-4 team you'll ever see in, in, in the state. Two weeks ago, they scored 61 points against number 21 Lowell, and they lost. They were up 61 to 53. Lowell scored a touchdown late in the fourth quarter. They missed the two-point conversion, and then with two seconds left, uh, Lowell's uh, kicked a 24-yard field goal to beat him 62 to 61. If you look at the Division II leaders, it's all Cambridge. The quarterback, number 11, Joanne Harding, 10 touchdown passes. Uh, their wide receiver, Cyrus Singh, five touchdown passes, and they're all long ones. They're all 50 yards, 40 yards, 70 yards. He is a deep threat. And uh, one of their running backs, Andrew Analyst, uh, four touchdowns, but 
very interesting when I was looking at all the all the stats and the leaders I noticed that he's got five two-point conversions so this is a team that is not going to kick every time they're going to go for a lot of two-point conversions uh, they, they had two heartbreaking losses their first loss was to Arlington and that was also on a last second field goal 37 to 34 uh, they've been averaging 34 points a game, but they've been giving up 44 points a game. So this is a great opportunity for AB to establish their offense. And uh, if we can just hold them, uh, we're going to come come out with a W tonight. Yeah, and, and it's a it's a great point. Very dangerous team. It's like they are every year, but in particular this year with all that offense, they really haven't really strung together that kind of production before, to my as I remember. But really, we should also say, this is the opening of DCL season tonight. So this is when it really counts as we go. We, you know, we get the DCL uh, division and we're off to the playoffs. And so, you know, that's when it really counts. So what do you say, Mark? All right, let's, let's play, play some, some football. football. Shire, Caton, and Epstein PC, located in the historic Weatherby House, has been your community law firm for over 25 years. We have five attorneys and a supporting staff to serve your business, real estate, or estate planning needs. For more information on how we can assist you in your legal needs, contact us at 978-264-4655 or visit us online at www.skactonlaw.com. That's www.skactonlaw.com. Hey America, is there anything you're truly proud of? How about becoming an aviation maintenance technician? In just 14 months, you'll be watching the metal birds that you just repaired soar back into the sky. I can't think of anything else to be more proud of. At National Aviation Academy, we train ordinary men and women to do extraordinary things. Welcome to your future. Your plans are ready for takeoff. 800-292-3228 or visit bostonwingman.com. I'm Saad Dino, pharmacist and co-owner of Acton Pharmacy, located at 563 Massachusetts Avenue in West Acton. Your source for prescriptions, medical supplies, and a flu shot for the winter ahead. Our brand new state-of-the-art compounding lab provides compounding medications customized to the patient's needs in a specialized form like a liquid, cream, or capsules. Compounding medications are a needed alternative for those that cannot take commercially available products. We are also glad to assist you in helping you understand Medicare Part D plans and choosing a prescription plan that is best tailored to your medication needs. And when you can't come to us, we'll be glad to come to you via our delivery service. This year marks our 20th anniversary serving this great community. Please join us on October 14th when we'll commemorate this anniversary here at the pharmacy by honoring you, our customer. We hope to see you then. Go AB Football. Today's game has been brought to you by the Huntington Learning Center, Gallant Insurance, the Steinberg Lally Charitable Foundation, TC Landos, Medical Aesthetics, Dunkin' Donuts. All right, welcome back everybody to Falcons. Won the toss and, and basically said, hey, we're gonna just kick it off here and Acton Boxville's gonna receive and we got the dangerous Vic Otero and Mr. Douglas back there. Here we go. Set the kick off for Cambridge is number 52. In glad. Back to the back to Buckbo. Little knuckleball down the middle to Douglas. He catches it on his 18. He's got a good gap up the middle. And knifes his way up to the 43 yard line. First and 10, Colonials. That's uh, great starting field position for the Colonials. Uh, one thing that you notice at the National Anthem, more than half of the Cambridge team uh, knelt down. The other half uh, just stood with their hands together as they did last week against Waltham in their uh, loss to Waltham. And 
And the key, obviously, here is to, uh, to score first. You have a defense that gives up a lot of points and a very potent offense. Stan Bernard split out with Otero in the slot. Finn Murray, he said, coming out of a great game to give us the Camposanos. He does a little, little cutback run to close to midfield. Good yardage on that first run. It's going to be interesting to see how the lines work over these first few plays because you might be able to just run that play over and over and over again, get four or five yards. Second and four. Second down. AB last week didn't do this, uh, you know, take a look at the D and hesitate and recall right. no, the play no, they, this week. They went, they went quick last week. All right, Finn Murray back to pass, complete to Weissman. Weichman over to uh, cross the 45 to the 42-yard line of the Falcons. All right, good First. start for Finn. As we said, he was 15 for 23 for 247 yards last That's week. Weichmann, Can't remember the last time an A-B quarterback down. threw for 250 yards. And how many uh, completions? Uh, you know, a combination of completions and yardage, that's really a, a superlative in A-B football history. All right, back pass, Finn Murray looking deep over the middle, and it's complete to Vic Otero. To the 25, and some wrestling downfield there. And take a look at this. Vic Otero is just making a living this season just finding the seam. We're going, we're going hurry up here, so we can't play the replay, but. Enough for another first down. Vic had, uh, I think, eight catches last week. This is my favorite formation, a double stack. And to give us the, Capistano up the middle as he just kind of steps aside his defenders and runs for about 15. Another first down run. Oh, we've got a, we've got a ref. Whoa. We've got a ref down, and Mr. C is going to have to do some real magic here. Here, Mr. C is coming out to attend to this referee. Oh, how often has he done that? Well, you know, you talk about guys like Tom Brady at the age of 40 getting hit, but when you're 65 and you get hit, it's it's no fun. Let's, uh, why don't we pause for a quick break. Uh, Mark, we'll be right back as that ref uh, recovers here. I'm Saad Dino, pharmacist and co-owner of Acton Pharmacy, located at 563 Massachusetts Avenue in West Acton. Your source for prescriptions, medical supplies, and a flu shot for the winter ahead. Our brand new state-of-the-art compounding lab provides compounding medications customized to the patient's needs in a specialized form like a liquid, cream, or capsules. Compounding medications are a needed alternative for those that cannot take commercially available products. We are also glad to assist you in helping you understand Medicare Part D plans and choosing a prescription plan that is best tailored to your medication needs. And when you can't come to us, we'll be glad to come to you via our delivery service. This year marks our 20th anniversary serving this great community. Please join us on October 14th when we'll commemorate this anniversary here at the pharmacy by honoring you, our customer. We hope to see you then. Go AB Football. All right, welcome back everybody. Just uh, an unfortunate situation here. The ref uh, was injured, was on the field, uh, laying down here for three, four minutes and he's back on his feet. Let's go to the replay. Take a look at this. Look at Kyle just finding his way through and, and he just bumps into the ref and he was down for quite a while, but he's up now and it looks like they, they were going to bring the stretcher out for him. He's walking off the field right now and let's see what's, let's see if he's going to continue. I think there, I think he'll take a, a break at the very least there. That's a pretty good hit. Well, he looks pretty good right now. He looks he he's gonna he's gonna take a, a couple plays off and we'll see if he comes back. Meanwhile, A B is really 
doing pretty much anything they want. And, and you can tell this, li this line, this D-line of Cambridge has a lot of weaknesses. Looked at some film uh, against uh, Waltham and, and they had trouble tackling. Uh, it's an issue for them. First and goal, Ben Murray looks and looks at the lineup and gets the revised play here. And it's the keeper as Finn Murray just picks his way and carries the entire Cambridge Falcons team. Touchdown. Well, oh, as they say, you just proved my point <laughs> uh, about tackling. Uh, they had Finn Murray three or four different times there. Uh, and, uh, and he just found his way and then got a little convoy there. Look at that. Couldn't get him. Another missed tackle. Another missed tackle. And then Finn Murray just moving his way Murray in to try for the six points. points. And here's the extra point. And the kick is up, and it is good. So the with 8.44 to go in the first quarter, the Colonial the first strike, strike first, strike the fast, and strike up. easy. Seven up. Oh, that was that was that was almost too easy. Uh, now now that we've got a timeout, we've been talking a lot about the offense of AB. Uh, but last week it was really the, the the defense. We had we had all the 70, the 71, Max Water. We had number 72, uh, Hollis Durstein, <laughs> 73, Andy Shen, 74, Justin Dudziak. But it was number 66, Hunter Shaughnessy. And if we could take a look at Hunter Shaughnessy here. Take a look at this. Look at these tackles. Uh, There's hello. one. Boom. And let's see. Let's take a look at number two. Hunter Five, Shaughnessy. Four, win. three, two. Here he one, comes. And you'll see. See there you later. <laughs> okay, time for the kickoff. Hunter Shaughnessy was a monster last week. There we go. Ben Murray kicks it off and kicks a deep knuckleball. All the way to the, about the 10 yard line. And good speed on behalf of number 15 as he gets to the outside, Andrew Analyst. Yeah, Analyst is uh, one, of, one of their best players. They've got, they've got four or five excellent athletes, starting with their quarterback, who is a big kid. He's a big kid with a big arm. I saw him, uh, you know, in pregame. He was throwing 50-yard bombs into the end zone. It's a very dangerous offensive team. Now Lowell, they put 61 points on Lowell. Lowell is playing Everett tonight. And Lowell right now is undefeated. They're 4-0. So you can't, you can't fall asleep on this team. All right, Harding in the shotgun. Similar offense to AB. They do a read option up the middle, and they get about six six yards. Uh, you can, yeah, you can see the speed there. Jimmy Doriellen. Yeah, Doriellen. Yeah, name, right? Dor I think yeah, I think that's right. We practiced that for a while. Yeah. Doriellen. Doriellen. So bring up a second down. Look, Avery. Lori Allen's got four touchdowns so far this season. And a little pitch out here and good, excellent first down run. And you can see they're big and they're fast. That's Andrew Analyst. He's also got four touchdowns and he's the one with the five two point conversions. Brion's on the tackle. Chris and 10, There he goes. You can see he's big and he can cut and he's fast. Here we go back live. And he else again cuts back up the middle and gets Dory another eight down. yards. So yeah, that was, yeah, Dory. I think that was Dory Ellen on oh, that, Dory on Ellen, that play. Sorry, yeah, yeah, but they're they're, they're getting down. great yardage there. <laughs> well, we expected a lot of points tonight. Beautiful, beautiful night 
absolutely no wind. The flag is just lying there, not moving at all. Dory Allen again up the middle for about four or five. AB in a cover two. That's a first down for Cambridge. Picked up enough for Cambridge first down. Swimming it on the tackle. Ball's on the 40, uh, 42. I think the center kicked it up a yard. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> uh, it was, see, we're, we're missing a referee here, so uh, they're taking advantage. Right. Better coverage, JB. Okay, starting to get a sense that's Max of it. Waters on the stop. And we've got an injured door. Number 71, Waters on the tackle. And I think uh, Edwin Owasu, I think their uh, starting guard is hurt. Let's go back to the Hunter Shaughnessy uh, plays again. Just, yeah, let's uh, do that. Because you got to just see this, folks. Let, let's, let's, do, let's start from the beginning if we can. Take a look at this. And look at the, these textbook tackles. This is, these are all no doubters. There's number one. And they get better. It gets better. Watch this. Now we have a convoy. We have a... We have the law firm here taking care, taking care of uh, the uh, Easterly, the quarterback for Concord. Now here's Shaughnessy. Easterly tries to throw the ball, but has no chance at all. And look at this tackle coming up. Whoa! He was in the huddle. He was in the backfield. Hunter Shaughnessy. Once again, we talk about the emotional leader of this team. He is a captain and the emotional leader, and he had a game for the ages last week. That's, those are great. He's just, he's just fun to watch. And uh, we have a player down in the field for the Falcons. Uh, with that, let's uh, go to a quick break. We'll be right back, folks. Shire, Caton, and Epstein PC, located in the historic Weatherby House, has been your community law firm for over 25 years. We have five attorneys and a supporting staff to serve your business, real estate, or estate planning needs. For more information on how we can assist you in your legal needs, contact us at 978-264-4655 or visit us online at www.skactonlaw.com. That's www.skactonlaw.com. All right, welcome back, everybody. Edwin Owasu is now up and under his own power, going to the sidelines here. And uh, he's a big kid. He is a big kid. He's a junior. And I don't know if he's going to be back, but it was good. He was down for quite a while. And really, a big, strong kid. And uh, so the Falcons uh, call it uh, first down. Uh, no, I think it's. I'm trying to get my marker. Second down. Sorry, folks. Here we go. All right, little out pass and great, great fundamental football by the Colonials as they take it all on there. With Andrew and Elsa. Yeah, Sam Fleming and Hunter Shaughnessy just staying where they should be, holding the edge. A very dangerous. Pass because that was a that was a backward pass. And now we got third and long. You can see, Mark, we're playing strictly zone there. That that you know, analyst just changes from one side of the field to the other. Nobody moves in the A B D. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right, a run blitz, blitz there and uh, ooh, and a good hit uh, after the uh, miss. Uh, catch there, so you pay for it if you. But that was a great, that was a great pass, and frankly, that was a, that was a very catchable ball, and it's fourth down now. But that could have easily been a first down around the 32-yard line. I think that's a classic. You know, you hear the footsteps. You know, and uh, here's the replay here. Watch. Yeah, we got Nick. See. Nick Douglas coming right at him. Yeah. We had with two guys there. Right, fourth, little quick kick, and it's a high pop. And we're going to just Gotta clear the zone out. here, gonna... and uh, it's going to roll Cambridge style all the way 
to the 21 yard line. That's amazing because that, that landed like right on the 20. And that could have been like a 64 yard kick. It would have wound up at the same place at the 20 yard line. And that ball went straight up and it bounced and then it just headed into AV territory. And that's a kick I could have made. <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 I'm not sure of that. I'm not sure of that. I might have not been able to get the altitude there. <laughs> All right, we've got 5.21 to go in the first quarter. A very good first drive for AB. And we've got Cambridge players already with hands on their hips. Not a good sign. All right, up the middle goes Camposano for about five. All right, good stop by Amar Fernandez Ruiz. Looks like who is the a junior. You know, first look at the Falcons. They, they're playing a four-man front, and the linebackers aren't very active. They're not filling the holes here. The linebackers are playing three yards off the ball, and I think you know you just double team at the point of attack, and you got a lot of room. All right, Finn Murray to. Weichmann, Jonas gets loose, and he's going Grog style all the way up to the 45. You know what? If I were John, if I were John Sterling of the Yankees, I would say that was Gronkalicious, but I, I refuse to say that. And here's the replay. That's beautiful. This is a beautiful. Look play. at this. Look at this. Jonas with yards after catch, and here we go here's live again. Camposano with a patient run on the edge. And that patience in that particular run, that's what got the eight yards there, Mark. Second and two. And this line, this offensive line, Durstein, Hunter Shaughnessy. Doing a really great job. Bring up a second down. There he is. Camposano again with a nice cutback, easy first down run as he crosses the 40 of the Falcons. All right, now you could have made that kick, but I could have made that run because that hole that the O-line opened was so wide. And we got T.J. Mabardi there. Nick Pusell checks in. Doing a great job on the O-line. Five-man uh, front for the Falcons now. All right, little option play. Camposano gets the edge, cuts back. He's got room. And all the way, another great cutback. One person to beat. He just gets caught on the 15. And this has been their problem since the, since the first game. Problem is tackling and they just can't seem to tackle anybody. Camposano breaking tackles, left, right, broke another tackle, and then there was a touchdown saving stop right there. 23 yard run. 23 yard run, says Will Henry. Play action pass, and Stan Bernard! And it's caught, touchdown! What a beautiful play! That is Sash Dan White Shoes Bernard. A perfect throw by Finn Murray. And they're, they're making a living off of this. Dan, Dan had two catches for 107 yards and one touchdown last week. And they're just basically doing whatever they want here in the first quarter. And the kick is up and a little lower. It hits There's the building good. and it's good. good. So with 2.46 to go in the first quarter, this is the Colonials 14 and the Falcons nothing. All right, can we take a, can we take a look at last week, Stan Bernard last week? Because he had two incredible catches. And but one was a great Finn Murray throw. And if we can play that yeah, we back. Can play that Stan Bernard. Okay, here we go. Look at this. Finn Murray, about a 45-yard throw. Stan Bernard, he just needed about two more feet 
He was not stopped. He made it to the end zone, but the ball was dead on the seven yard line. And now in the flat, he was not the primary receiver. And he just goes all the way, takes it in right down the sideline. Here we go live. Knuckle ball to about the 10 and, and then go let out it roll out and there's the flag. So Falcons will take over about the 25. Well, Coach, Coach, Coach Bassett really had high hopes for Stan Bernard when he came up from Florida. Really thinks he's a really, really good receiver, and so far he's proven himself right. Well, you know, it's great about the way he plays, uh, Marcus. He's shown that he can catch a lot of different types of, you know, he's going a lot of different routes and successfully catch them. And I love the way he gathered himself on that fly pattern. You know, he caught the ball on his fingertips. He's losing his balance, gather himself back, another 10 or 15 yards. That's a good football play all the way around. Well, you remember a couple of weeks ago, he had one of those David Tyree catches yes. where, where was it was in his helmet and he, and he held on to it. All right, down the middle this time, that's gonna be good. And Falcons take it from their own 15 and pick their way up and wow, meet a colonial right, wall of sorts, but not, he got to about the 34 yard line. See where they mark it, first to 10. For Cambridge. Okay. Yeah, I think I think that right. Yeah, that ref is back in the game. He he's tough. He's tough. He's and he's looking good, Tim. He's looking good. Yep, and he's still playing center field. I would move to it. <laughs> <laughs> now we got to look at number four here. Number four, Sirius Singh. He split out right, and they have not gone to him yet, and he is a weapon. We saw him last year, if I remember. Here's a blitz. And the right call against the blitz. As they get about six yards around the edge, goes Jimmy Derillion. If you take a look at this, this was a great recovery on the part of Finn Murray. Finn, Finn Murray was blitzing on the play and then recovered to make the tackle. And the ball's oh, loose, and there's yeah, a flag no, of a I face think, mask, I it's believe. It's a face mask by Hunter Shaughnessy. Hunter Shaughnessy was in and just Harry got his hand on, on, the on a face mask. On the play, flag on the play. AB, AB recovers, but I think that's all going to be taken back here. Hunter let go, but that uh, was too late. You know, the, Wait a minute, they're, they're, they're going, okay, he's turning around. I, I, he was in the wrong direction. I think this is the same guy that got yeah, yeah, hit. Yeah. <laughs> I think he may not be 100%. He's, he's trying to decide I, I where he's gonna he's, go. Uh, it's like pin the tail and yeah, dog. Right. <laughs> he's spinning around, okay, go that way. <laughs> he's, gonna, he's gonna mark off a lot more yardage. Oh, boy. Yeah, uh, this is a personal foul here. All right, it's an AB territory at the about the 45 how yard line. How, how does that? What is this? Penalty assessed against Acton Buckbow. I think that might have been like a 25 yard personal foul, Tim. It's going to remain Cambridge ball. First and ten. There's the. Uh, From Acton Buckbow, 45 uh, yard line. I'm not even sure he got his face mask. I think he might have gotten the back of his helmet. Yeah. All right. Well, first down as the Falcons are now across midfield. All right, on the edge goes number 25, breaking tackles. And we'll just look that up here. We haven't seen him. This is Amar Fernandez Ruiz. You can see the speed of some of these Cambridge kids, really. Look at this acceleration here. He makes his cut and he is gone. Look at that. Running strong. And really. Pick up enough for a Cambridge first down, first and 10. Max Waters really staying with him. I'm not going to hold this Cambridge team down for too long. They're just too good an offense. Same play to Ruiz on the edge, and he gets by again. There's flags Ruiz all over. Well, you would think offensive holding on that play, but let's wait for the call. But you can see the way he cuts, great speed. On the I always find it interesting when, you know, 
you have a, just a, a different back, but but really a similar speed back that we've seen already, and but different style, and that style just throws the defense off guard. How many times do you see that in sports? Yep. Whether it's football, even basketball, same thing. You throw a different you know, power forward out there, a little different style. Amazing thing about sports. All right, Ruiz is still in. We change up our D with single safety. And now Ruiz up the middle. That's a good game. Good game. Good game. And even with the penalty, they're in good position right now at second down. With just about three, three and a half yards to go. Winding down within a minute in the first quarter, about 35 seconds left. All right, throw the corner, a little push off by the off uh, receiver there, but nothing there as the ball was overthrown. Uh, Gerald Bennett with the intended receiver. And it's interesting that they have not gone to Cyrus Singh yet. He is their primary deep receiver. And we've got 26 seconds to go here. Third down. They've got to make a first down here. Steps up and throws over the middle. Ooh. And just overthrow. He had Singh. Singh had beaten Vic Otero. He was about three yards behind Vic. And the ball was just overthrown. And big fourth down play here. They've got to go for it, of course. Here's the play. Now you can see the separation that number four Singh has. And you see Vic's, Otero's in full stride and Singh's still running by there. There's a middle screen to Ruiz as he cuts back and short of the first down. Looks like A.B. ball. No flags on the play. That's it, no flags. Okay, okay, we take over on downs. And he, he almost converted that first down. Kind of reminded me of that Kyle Camposano touchdown there with a, with a the middle screen right here. You can fourth, see fourth and long, and he almost converted. Good fundamental tackling skills by AB this week as we're, we're really breaking down nicely against these speed runners. AB coming out now for its third possession. They've scored on their first two. Up the middle, is, looks like Capisano yeah. for the yeah, that's do it. That's that's do it. five. Yeah, that should do it for the quarter. That'll be the end of the first quarter with the score. Action basketball, 14, Cambridge, zero. Well, wow, very, very impressive first quarter for AB. Um, you know, after, after three close games against Lowell, Arlington, and Malden Catholic uh, last week, uh, in the first DCL game, they lost to Waltham 49 to 15. So once they get to, you know, DCL, DCL strength, uh, it, it could change for uh, this Cambridge team. I really like the way AB's uh, playing right now, Mark. They're doing what you would expect them to do on offense, which sometimes when you get, you know, you get there in terms of, uh, you know, you think defense is really not no, it's, it's, a, it's a talented defense, but doesn't play together cohesively like the, with the Falcons. You know, that's how they're advertised. And uh, you want to basically focus in and execute. And so far, AB's done all that. Well, last year, AB beat Cambridge 37 to 14, and they really featured the ground attack last year. They felt that they could beat Cambridge on the ground, and that's what they did last year. All right, here we go. And back to pass over the middle. Sit down, it's incomplete. Intended for Jonas. 
Wait. Okay, when I, when, I, when I see Jonas line up there, it's almost like a, another ta another tackle. And low pass. And now it's a third down. really see Finn Murray just taking control. This is this is his team. And he's just barking out signals to people. All right, looks off the receiver and goes long here to Stan Bernard and overthrows him. It's almost intercepted. Off the hands of Quinton McLeod. All right, first punt of the game here coming up. Yeah, it looked like uh, McLeod was the receiver here. Ball just overthrown by a few yards. I think uh, Finn Murray has a lot of trust Brings in Stan Bernard. He likes to go to him. Shondell. We got, a, we got a flag here. Kick it up. Fair catch on the 43 into the flag. I don't know if we have an offside against Cambridge here. I think it might have a, we might have an offside against Cambridge. There's a flag on the play. Refs are conferring right now. That still wouldn't give AB a first down. It'd still be a punting situation. And in fact, with the field position, you might even decline that penalty if it's an offside penalty. I was thinking that no return and a pretty good kick. Okay, they're discussing options right now. Offside, declined, okay. I think that's a smart call. That, that's smart a smart call. call, smart call. All right, Cambridge, good field position starting on their 43. Coach Bassa was talking about last week and getting really nervous there after Conker Carlisle scored those two touchdowns and then had that interception at the beginning of the third quarter and said, oh no, it's happening again. And then uh, Concord Carlisle fumbled the ball, we recovered, and we never looked back. And hopefully, that's going to be the story of the season. Same result. He's just getting six, seven, eight yards at a yeah. play here. Yeah, Tyler Bri Briones with a very nice tackle on that play. They don't really, it's not a good uh, mark there. It's a five yard gain. It's a lot more than that. Just launches a deep throw, and it's... That's a reception! I oh think that's my goodness! Interception by Capisano or not? No. I don't know. I don't want to see the replay that watch yeah. this. Chased him all over the field. I want field to tell here. you, look at Andy Shen chasing him, chasing him, and then Sam Fleming got hit, got hit with a big block, and just. Coming down with the ball, great wow. reception. First and 10, Cambridge. First and 10, just outside the 10. Who is that that received a good throw on the edge there? And 
just about to the two yard line goes Tariq Lakuma. It's touchdown, a mark and he reached for it. And the Falcons strike. That is Tariq Lacona, number nine, with the touchdown. And you can see he just got in. Ball thrown out, and he's looking for the angle. He's Watch looking for the pylon. Watch how he reaches line. for that goal line there. And the kick is up, and it is good. 9.29 to go in the first half. Falcons strike back here, 14-7 Colonials, but the Falcons are on the scoreboard. I believe it was uh, Andrew, uh, analyst, I believe. I think it was number 15. No, actually, I think uh, that was Tariq Lacona. Oh, it was Tariq Lacona scoring. Tariq Lacona, number nine. We gotta, we gotta keep, we gotta keep our stat man fully supplied with good information here. That's right. Here's the, here's the throw in the edge. Let's see if we can see it now with this camera angle. You can see, it just doesn't, you can't quite see yeah, how Yeah, Vic Otero, as he tackled him, turned around and uh, just made it to the pylon. All right, 9.29 to go in the first half, and this is where the momentum is going to be established in this game right now. The uh, little swing to the Falcons here, but A.B. can That's stop this on this drive. All right, kick it low. It's a little straight up bounce. And what a great sidestep and another one and another good move. Capasano on the return. Capasano with a great return. Beautiful. He just, he just wouldn't go down. He just refused to go down all the way up to the 42 yard line. But he's really showing the, uh, you know, just the maturity as a runner. Sometimes it's not just running full speed and cutting. It's the hesitation and the footwork to cut, to get left and right and to really juke players. And he's, uh, I, I really like the way he's running. Okay, and he got, one, he got somebody to bounce off him too. That's, that's also important. All right. Look at that line of AB. I love, I love the bulk of the line. Looks like an old Chelmsford team, doesn't it? All those 70s. I love those 70s. All right, we actually run a 35 power. Camposano breaks tackles out in the open and leaps over the 35 to the 33 yard line. Good old wing tee. And once again, look at the tackling problems that Cambridge has. Once Camposano makes his cut, there's one, one, two, two broken tackles there. Wing T again, we run a Delaware, and he gets up through the groove and cuts back and weaves his way for another 15, 20 yards. So AB comes out under center for the first time this year, is running good old fashioned Wing T football. I love it, you know what, I think they, I think they picked up something from Concord Carlisle from last week and said, you know what? This could work. I love the wing tee. I mean, I, I just, you know, I've all, always seen the wing tee every year. And, and there are so many variations off the wing tee that you can that you can work with. All right, Delaware the other way, this time with Nick Douglas. And look at that cut up the gap there, right up the seam. Goes Nick Douglas for another Douglas 15 for yards. Making it look like a scrimmage right now. Felix on the tackle. And you really have here's, to give here's the replay here. You Watch have to this. give credit to the line here too. There's, Somebody's training these uh, running backs in a different way this year. Coaching, uh, you know, in that. Uh, yeah, we've got another hurt player on the field here. So why don't we just take a quick break? We'll be right back, folks.
Hey America, is there anything you're truly proud of? How about becoming an aviation maintenance technician? In just 14 months, you'll be watching the metal birds that you just repaired soar back into the sky. I can't think of anything else to be more proud of. At National Aviation Academy, we train ordinary men and women to do extraordinary things. Welcome to your future. Your plans are ready for takeoff. 800-292-3228 or visit bostonwingman.com. All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, number three, uh, Levenson Felix is walking out the field in his own power. And uh, the Colonials, first and goal. Looks like the ball's on about the four, four or five yard line, let's call it. And they, run up, they line up in an eye under center. Wow. Different looks. Up the middle, Nick Douglas, a quick step. And that Douglas looks like very right close to a touchdown, maybe on the one. Wow, that's Whoa, st very straight quick eye. execution offense here. For a team Standard that's been down. running spread all year, they look pretty comfortable. Looks, like, looks like they've been doing this for weeks, uh, uh, practicing this for weeks. And 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 Coach Bassett said they, they hadn't taken one snap under center all, all summer. And sneak right. up the middle, and there it is. Brady esque, isn't it? Finn Murray's looking down around saying, Will somebody yeah. please put right. their hands on yeah. yeah. You see this on the replay. No, gonna... Finn, is, Finn is, this is the loneliest quarterback sneak you'll ever see. Uh, because Finn just, nothing doing. He just walked right in there. there you go, and Hunter okay. Shaughnessy, when you're going behind Hunter Shaughnessy, uh, you, you, got a, you got a nice safety valve there. Well, that was a no-nonsense drive as the Colonials go up here. And the kick is up, and it is good. Oh, I wasn't sure about that one. 7.28 to go in the first half. 21-7 Colonials. We want to thank Mary Morris for dropping off her special homemade chocolate coconut cookies, which I have enjoyed for many, many years. And uh, I tell you, they're delicious, and I would be guaranteed eight pounds lighter if it wasn't for Mary Morris. <laughs> well, I saw, I saw Mary. Just yeah, replay one yeah, more look time. At look at this. Finn is, uh, but look at Hunter Shaughnessy. Hunter, Finn just put his hands on Hunter's back and just followed him right in. I saw, you know, I saw Mary on the way in. She said, "I've got something for you guys for after the game." And I said, "Mary, Mary, not after the game, during the game, please." Uh, it's a really one of my favorite cookies. I, I just ration it because I know they're about 9,000 she, calories. She's the mother of three fabulous Acton Boxborough football players. Absolutely. One of them, my son-in-law. That's right. And there goes Andrew, analyst for about a seven yard return. He'll be right at the 20. Henry's uh, coaching the Colonials, He's, and his uh, his his dad too is uh, coaching the Colonials. We got Morris and Morris over there. Well, Henry Henry was actually our sideline reporter for a couple of games uh, a couple of years ago. All right, let's see how we respond now with a two touchdown lead. Back to a cover two. That's the defense I like against this Cambridge offense. You just need a couple of layers of insurance against this speed. All right, little read option fake here, and good throw, good catch, and about a nine-yard gain. Correction. Douglas is on the tackle. Just a quick hitter. Second and short. Well, look for them maybe to go long Picks on this second play. Second and short for the Falcons. They could treat this as a free play right here. See what they could do with it. Little toss on the edge and easy first down. Up for a game All right, Sam Fleming on the pursuit. Andrew analysts again handling the ball a lot tonight. Oh, 
You know, as challenged as they are defensively, they're, they're a very able offensive team. I mean, they, they put up a lot of points against some pretty good teams. Wow, good hard throw over the middle and just off the fingertips. Yeah, and Singh is looking for a call. If we take a, take a look at this, Singh is looking for a call on Vic Otero. He's not going to get it. I don't think there was any penalty there, but if we can look at the replay and take a look at uh, Singh on this play. There he is, and there's the throw. No problem, no, no, no penalty. Not even close. All right, read option, and Ruiz cuts up the middle for a five. He's a tough runner, he really. Ruiz on the carry. Now, this is going to create a very, very important third down play. They've got about third and uh, third and four right now on their their part of the field at the 46. Good crowd here tonight. Yeah, yeah a lot of, they were just streaming in. Cambridge showing yeah. up in force. I like it. I like it. This is a, this is a great venue. It really is. Let's go, Let's go All right. Ruiz up the middle on the counter and he gets a first down. Yeah, got it. Yep. Ruiz on the carry. Stuff for Cambridge first down. Let's look at the replay. What's what's going on in the blocking up front? If you can see, is it cross block here? It looks like a little trap block. Just enough for the first down. In AB territory at the 48. And Ruiz, Ruiz has gotten a, he's been a workhorse tonight. Three man rush for uh, the Colonials. And a little blitz off the edge. <laughs> and oh, just overthrows number nine, Tariq Lukuna. But did you see that? On the run, we gotta look at this again. On the run, he threw that about 55 yards down the field. He didn't get himself set. He was being chased, and he just let it go. And if his receiver had a little more speed, that could have been a touchdown. And he threw it high. <laughs> you know, he didn't really throw it for distance. That's, uh, that's that, that was a, that was pure. That was all arm strength. He had none of his body into that throw. All right, little play action there, and this time complete for about a seven-yard gain. To Andrew Analyst, good. You know, you know who he reminds me of a little bit? That the ball is so small in his hands and he just flicks it. Randall Cunningham. I don't know if you're. <laughs> I remember he Randall flicks, Cunningham. He looks a little bit like Randall Cunningham with that ball coming out of his hand. Good quarterback. He's got big hands. Wasn't a Falcon, it was an Eagle, though. That's true. All right, play action. This time a keeper up the middle. Good cutback run. Strong run. All the way up to the 12-yard line. Look at Ed Harding with really, he wants that as the Falcons are on the move. Well, that, looks, that looks a little bit like Randall Cunningham too. Because Randall Cunningham, he was a dual threat passing and running. And now Cambridge is knocking on the door again, going back and forth here. Pretty good coach's call there, that last play. There's an illegal motion, I think, on the part of uh, the Falcons. That'll be five yards. You know, this could be this could be one of those games where it comes down to the team that has the the ball in the last possession. Uh, they've had, they've had a couple of games like that. They've played games like that. Can you imagine being up 61 to 53 with three minutes to go in the fourth quarter and losing the game? No, I, I just, crazy. Yeah, As in the, once again, another illegal motion. That's like going to be play. another five yards. It's going to be first and 20 now. It'll be a against the Falcons. We made first down. Now 
Uh, we got Came a time out here. Out. Got a lot of a lot of famous folks have graduated from uh, from Cambridge. We've got uh, uh, <coughs> Matt Damon, of course. We've got Ben Affleck and Casey Affleck. Remember Walter Brennan? Sure. Walter Brennan, three-time Academy Award winner, graduated from Cambridge. And the poet, E.E. E. Cummings, with all those little little uh, letters, he graduated from Cambridge. Your research is Oh, I'll out. tell you. They have a lot of very famous people. The mayor of New York, Bill de Blasio, graduated from Cambridge. And Patrick Ewing, of course. And great, great basketball player. Henry Morris Sr. graduated That's right. from Cambridge. Henry Morris Sr. Didn't he play quarterback? Yes, he did. We got, we got to get, we got to get Henry Morris Sr. stats from the uh, from the Cambridge archives and see how he did. All right, they're back now, all the way backed up. They've got to get to about the three-yard line. Look at Nick Douglas, lonely on Cyrus Island out there. All right, Harding over to middle and just underthrown, wide open on a little post curl in there. Oh, he had his guy too. He oh, had him. Incomplete. Ethan Gerald Logue, Bennett. Uh, yeah, Ethan Logue on the coverage, uh, but. Uh, the ball was just underthrown. That was a touchdown. Tended for Bennett to bring up second down. Second and 20 for the Falcons. This could, this could be a must score possession for the Falcons the way AB is playing here tonight. Harding looking, running. Well, keep, keep in play, he's got plenty of room. And driven out of bounds at about the two. Well, I think, I think that down may the be field. a first down. He may have gotten the first down on that play. Everything broke down. This was not a design run. Everything broke down. Great coverage downfield. He could not find a receiver. And so it was time for him to just run it. He just outran uh, Brionis and almost got in. We have a another, player down in the field here. Why don't we uh, take a quick break and we'll be back in just a minute. I'm Saad Dino, pharmacist and co-owner of Acton Pharmacy, located at 563 Massachusetts Avenue in West Acton. Your source for prescriptions, medical supplies, and the flu shot for the winter ahead. Our brand new state-of-the-art compounding lab provides compounding medications customized to the patient's needs in a specialized form like a liquid, cream, or capsules. Compounding medications are a needed alternative for those that cannot take commercially available products. We are also glad to assist you in helping you understand Medicare Part D plans and choosing a prescription plan that is best tailored to your medication needs. And when you can't come to us, we'll be glad to come to you via our delivery service. This year marks our 20th anniversary serving this great community. Please join us on October 14th when we'll commemorate this anniversary here at the pharmacy by honoring you, our customer. We hope to see you then. Go AB football. All right, welcome back everybody. We're back. And the Falcons with Harding that picks up a first down, picks great up first scramble by Harding. Harding. Our first and goal at the three. And that injured player was uh, number 54, Wasu, who had come back into the game and is now back out. And Ruiz at the middle. The That's the right, first time stop. we've stopped Ruiz all night. Yeah, great stop. Really tightening up. Yeah. 
And once again, Owasu is back in, number 54. Over on the tackle. He's a, the right, the right guard for the, for the Falcons, number 54, back in. Harding, ball's complete and an easy catch. Gets a throw there, touchdown Falcons. And that is the second touchdown reception for number nine, Tariq Lacona. Nobody on him there. No, all alone. They were not, definitely not expecting that. Defense was, was really bunched in on that, trying to uh, stop the run. And then kick his block. Who was that? Was that Max Waters on that block? I believe so. So with 3.01 to go in the first half, it's 21-13. Extra point is no good. One score game. One left in the second. Uh, those extra points can be very important. Let's see, I, I thought That's Max Waters might have gotten in on that. Yeah, no, uh, no replay in the machine for that call there, but I believe it was. You got 3.01 to go. First half, 21 to 13. A lot of action in this game. Well, you've got a team with Cambridge. They average 79 points a game between offense and defense, so you know a lot of points are gonna be scored. Will, have you got stats on uh, number 25? Uh, yeah, for, for Cambridge, Mr. Ruiz. Yeah, he's got one catch for 12 yards, and he's been the bell cow tonight for them rushing. He's got six carries, three yards. Okay, six carries, 43 yards for Ruiz. All right, a bullet to Nick Douglas. He gets a side step. He's got one man to beat. He's accelerating. And he's got the sights on an end zone. There you go, Nick Douglas. No flags. Put it up, folks. It was just a matter of time. We keep talking about it. And look at that foot race there. Nick Douglas, wow. We got two more years of Nick Douglas. And that was a that was a great kickoff for a return. And watch this. Look at him, and he's just got to outrun one guy now, number 88. And he had the angle on him, but Nick Douglas just had too much speed. 70 yards on the return. And the score amounts up. We got a flag here. Seemed like too much time? Delay a game or what? Well, he's, he's picking up the flag. Maybe too many men on the field, I don't know. <laughs> conferring with uh, Coach Bassett here on the call. Got an offsides call here. I don't think, I don't, I, I, they're gonna just kick it. They're not gonna go for two. All right, and the kick is up and it is good. Oh, I don't know how that's kicks, good, but it's those good. Those kicks barely make it over. Those line drives to the, to the corner and it's 28 to 13. 2.47 to go and uh, that's the way to respond. Bullet kick, and you see that nice wall form up front, and then Nick didn't need anything else. He just runs by everybody. It's like uh, he's on a different speed film. 
Oh, he knew he knew he had it. He knew he had it. Wow. He so far has 129 yards rushing in this half alone. But we set the kick. Uh, total yardage, Will? Total yardage. Total yardage for Nick, 129, Nick. just in the half. Deep to Ruiz, or is that, uh, I think that's uh, number eight, Quentin McLeod, I believe. First and 10 for the Falcons okay, on the Okay, I think Jed Cronin. Uh, on the 33. Jed Cronin, good play on that. And here we go, here we go again. Forty one points scored here in the first half. Maybe with a three man rush. Ruiz on the carry. Nice and play. this time they stop Ruiz. Now maybe you're going to see some adjustments Coming being made the here. No gain on the play. Second and ten. For the <laughs> really nice job. Looks like Hunter Shaughnessy's not on the field, taking a rest here. We'll play action Ruiz, and they launch a missile downfield. And wow, that's a good football play. Two players going after oh, the that's, ball. That's uh, Cronaway. Wow. Singh, look at that speed and look at look at that ball that he throws. I mean, that is a guided missile. Look at that. There's a flag on the play. We have a flag on the play here. We'll check out the flag, but that was almost a reception as Singh ran under that ball. You like to see that though. Pat Grunowitz played that perfect. You know, you play the ball at that point and he had his, you know, he, he had zeroed in and just created that collision because he had every right to that ball. And we've got a penalty against Cambridge. Penalty assessed against Cambridge. Second and, about second and 15 here. Again, three-man rush for A.B. And launches the play down the middle, and it's intercepted. He's still in bounds. Finn Murray picking his way. A good block. And out of bounds at the four oh, years of flag. Another flag. Finn Murray using a lot of discretion there, uh, getting out of bounds. That was a smart <laughs> play by Finn. And let's see what that flag is. Well after the interception, so should, we should retain possession. That's coming, back. coming back. Probably a block in the back, right? But it's A.B. ball, and we're on the 45-yard line with plenty of time. 149 to go in the first half. They retain the ball, first and 10, from the Cambridge 45-yard line. A.B. Uh, Calls a smart timeout, it looks like here, just to kind of collect the strategy for 149 March down the field. And there they go. And okay, now the ball's at the 48 yard line. And looks and just threw very uncharacteristic drop by Vic Otero. Usually he's just yeah, like Vic's a, pretty sure handed. Second and ten for AB. Bring up second down, second and ten. All 
Smith is trying to go right back to Vic Otero as he sidesteps and picks his way all the way up to first down yard. All right. That's what you do. That's how, that, that's trust. You go right back to the guy, right back to the same guy, and he make he gets you a first down. That was not a first down reception. He had to earn that first down. Look at that move by Vic. He got about eight yards after after a catch there. Been looking down, and the ball is blocked Whoa. by a big number 99. Yeah, he's a big dude. Samuel Figaro. Yeah. Not much time has run off the clock. Still have a minute and 13 to go. Second and 10. Who's up, Lamar? Play action. Ben Murray. Under pressure, just releases downfield and out of bounds for a first down. Well, you know, Jovan Harding, if you can do it, I can do it. And Finn Murray could have taken about a five yard loss on that play, just spun right out of it, went down the sidelines for a first down and stopped the clock. Gonna have a very interesting stat sheet here. Our poor stat man is uh, working overtime here. Single safety for the Falcons. They play up there. Play action and Finn Murray keeps the play. What a move as he cuts his way up for about five and they'll call a timeout there, I would uh, yeah, guess. Yeah, I look for a timeout. No, they're, no. they're going hurry up here. 50, 50 seconds to go. Ring up second down. Quick little catch and throw and nice play. Ethan Logue on the reception. Sure handed. And they're moving the chains here. And now we got a timeout. And Finn Murray is using Back all his ball. weapons here. Ball. Wickman, Logue, Otero, Bernard, Camposano. He's really, really distributing the ball. I know we're gonna have halftime stats, Mr. Henry, but uh, this, what's Finn Murray's numbers right now? Okay, six, six, six for nine for 83 yards for Finn Murray. Very effective and very efficient. All right, Nick Douglas in the backfield. And they do a toss, Nick Douglas, he gets around the edge here, a little stiff arm and out of bounds. Uh, they're, go they're just trying to strike gold again. They're just trying to look at the angle and see if Douglas could beat the angle and make it to the end zone. He had a good gain, gain about six yards. You got trips right here. Second and three. And it's a keeper with Finn Murray as he breaks the tackle and he needs to pick his way. Maybe a two-yard gain. It's hard to see okay, from here. Okay, now an immediate timeout called by Captain Hunter Shaughnessy. A very heady play with 16 seconds to go. Captain Buxwell takes a timeout. Yeah, you saw that play break down, but Hunter Shaughnessy, the moment that that forward progress was stopped, he was there right in the ref's face with calling a timeout. for number 87 here in the end zone. Just throw it up, let him, let him uh, 
reach for the ball. We've had a couple of those right up, right in the middle. That's a classic Mark Shire call. I like that one. I like that. I like that call. I like. I like uh, Jonas in the end zone here. Sano's in the backfield this time. And there it is, Weichmann, and it is caught, touchdown! All Just right! Like called it. Just what the doctor ordered. And isn't that fun, putting that tight end out there in the corner route like that, not in the uh, you know, middle seam. We've got, we've, we've got to see to turn how far back he was, how close he was to that back line, because that was the issue. Was he in bounds? And he was. He had to really spin around. That was good balance there. And we're about, if this extra point is good, and it, it is, is good. good. So with nine good. seconds good. to go in the first half, AB scores 34 half. points in this first half. 30. Well, Tim, Tim, being, being the uh, AB points. football historian that you are, uh, you know that we uh, we beat Bedford 60 to nothing. That's as many points Correct. as I've ever seen an AB team score. And right now they've got 35 in the first half. I don't think Bedford ever forgot that. <laughs> well, I think I think that 60 points. I think that was a message game. I think that was we we kept the gas on the whole game. There was there was a reason for that. I'm not, I never got the whole story on that, but. Whoa, Vin Murray, two rushing touchdowns and two passing touchdowns in the first half. That man is real. And an interception to boot. Well, yeah, because he caught one too. Oh, he keeps that ball. Kick down the middle here and return. Whoa, and whoa, whoa, big time tackle there that and three seconds collision. on the clock. That was a collision. Oh my goodness. You could just feel that. That was Dylan Sweeney on that. Whoa. Nice job by Dylan Sweeney and Tim DePaulo. First and 10 came from the wrong 30 yard line. Look at this. Look at look at them converging. All right, CLAB plays this last. They got four deep, so they got a little almost like a kick return uh, kick yeah kick return kind of thing Stan Bernard comes out replaces Finn Murray now you got a quarterback who can who can throw the ball 60 plus yards they might be they may be taking a knee you never know <laughs> yeah, and they give it to Ruiz and it's all covered. Now to do it, folks. What a first half here. 35 to 13. And uh, it just was A-B football. Really, it's progress from last week. We said they started to show the potential of this new offensive scheme last week against Car Carlisle. And I understand this defense and what we called them to begin the game, but that's still pretty good offensive football, Mark. Yeah, that's, a, that's just a major explosion, and I'm very excited about that. I'm also very excited about having one of Mary Morris's cookies at <laughs> halftime. Well, that's great. Well, that's going to do it for first half action, folks. We'll be right back after this message with the Statman player comparison. Shire, Caton, and Epstein PC, located in the historic Weatherby House, has been your community law firm for over 25 years. We have five attorneys and a supporting staff to serve your business, real estate, or estate planning needs. For more information on how we can assist you in your legal needs, contact us at 978-264-4655 or visit us online at www.skactonlaw.com. That's www.skactonlaw.com. All right, welcome back, everybody. It's time for our Statman Halftime Player Comparison. Mark, take it away. Okay, we've got the AB Marching Band. They look like a college band right in front of us. They're unbelievable. We got Finn Murray, a very efficient 7 for 11, 88 yards, two touchdowns, 
and Camposano, Kyle Camposano, on his way to maybe a 200-yard game with nine rushes for 98 yards. And and my favorite there, number 87. I'm, I'm liking this guy. Three receptions, 34 yards, including that great touchdown. Uh, Harding is six for 14. One interception, a couple of touchdowns. He's also their leading rusher with 49 yards. And uh, Lucona has got three receptions, but two of them for touchdowns. And that's where we are, 35 to 13, and very, very efficient play on the part of the AB offense. Yeah, this is really a fun ball game to watch, so it's going to be great here. And uh, stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back with highlights from the first half and the second half kickoff. Saad Dino, pharmacist and co-owner of Acton Pharmacy, located at 563 Massachusetts Avenue in West Acton. Your source for prescriptions, medical supplies, and a flu shot for the winter ahead. Our brand new state-of-the-art compounding lab provides compounding medications customized to the patient's needs in a specialized form like a liquid, cream, or capsules. Compounding medications are a needed alternative for those that cannot take commercially available products. We are also glad to assist you in helping you understand Medicare Part D plans and choosing a prescription plan that is best tailored to your medication needs. And when you can't come to us, we'll be glad to come to you via our delivery service. This year marks our 20th anniversary serving this great community. Please join us on October 14th when we'll commemorate this anniversary here at the pharmacy by honoring you, our customer. We hope to see you then. Go AB football. All right, welcome back, folks. Let's take a look at some key plays in the first half, and we have a bunch of them. First, there it is, Finn Murray weaving his way up the middle, carries the student body with him. There's 12, 14, 15, 16 players <laughs> touchdown. He's, he's got a lot of friends there. There's Finn Murray. To Jonas, I, I tell you, I love this kid. Maybe it's because he's a tight end and he's number 87, and my son was a tight end in college, and he was 87. There so. you go, Kyle Camisano <laughs> with a little double step off tackle. And there's Finn Murray again with the pitch to Kyle. Look at Kyle, look at the tackles that he breaks. And there's a touchdown saving tackle, and 98 yards for Camposano. Finn Murray launches it to Stan Bernard in the corner, touchdown. That was a laser. Here we go, take a look at this play. This is unbelievable. He gets out of the, out of the way, Andy Shen trying to chase him. He's blocked and then he throws it up for grabs and two defenders and that is a reception, folks. All right, Harding with the laser over the, uh, the edge there and that's... Uh, Pano, guess, Pony, yeah. Pony, yeah. And here we go, Kyle Camposano once again, just racking up the yardage. Beautiful, here's the Yeah, Hunter Shaughnessy, Hunter Shaughnessy had nobody to, yeah. nobody to block. He, he wanted to block that yeah, right. score. <laughs> and here we go, this is great effort on the part of Hardy. I mean, just great effort. And Harding. Unbelievable, Lacona, Lacona again. And here we go. We don't have to say anything about this. Just, just watch it. <laughs> and look at that at the end. A little celebration there, and he deserves it. And what do you do? You look for the big tight end running a corner route, turns around and catches it for six. That was a great catch. Great that, catch by Jonas. What great action. What a great first half. There it is, 35-13 here, and uh, we got a lot to go in this ball game. It's and look at that moon. We got a beautiful night tonight beautiful. with a beautiful moon. And we got a uh, big celebration out in the middle of the field, so with that, we'll be right back, folks, after this message. 
Hey America, is there anything you're truly proud of? How about becoming an aviation maintenance technician? In just 14 months, you'll be watching the metal birds that you just repaired soar back into the sky. I can't think of anything else to be more proud of. At National Aviation Academy, we train ordinary men and women to do extraordinary things. Welcome to your future. Your plans are ready for takeoff. 800-292-3228 or visit bostonwingman.com. Welcome back, folks. Second half action. Falcons against the Colonials. The Colonials are up 35 to 13. All sorts of action in that first half. But hey, you can't keep count these Falcons out the way they've scored. They've scored over 60 points in the game this year. They have, and uh, if uh, Harding were just a little bit more accurate on a couple of throws, they, they could have had a couple of other extra touchdowns and it'd be right in this game. Yeah, that's a great point, really. We're talking fingertips away from a ball even score. And a few throws. All right, Finn Murray getting set to kick. Kicks away and will return right. And good coverage as uh, Lacona. Goes across the 25 to the 28 yard line. And I, and I always see, always see number 80. Always see number 80 on these special team uh, tackles, Mr. DePaulo. Always call his number. Always seems to be that one special teams player that stands out every year, and number 80 is one of them this year. Let's see what kind of defense they play here. With Cover two, three-man rush again. Oh, uh, they're gonna call a timeout here. They, I don't know, they didn't seem set. Let's see what happens. And good pressure, but oh, seam route, and is that a catch? No catch. No catch. That, lo that looked like it was gonna be a catch. Let's see what happened on this one. He had time to set up. And just out of his hands. Well, he just got down in time. That would have hurt. And they run around off tackle and get about six. All right, he's going to yeah. put him in a, in a uh, third down situation here to start the third quarter. He's got number 24, Mr. Pasillo, on the tackle. Nice to see Pat Cronowitz out there again this week, getting better and better every week, getting more healthy. There we go. We got the illegal procedure once again. It's really a lot of mental mistakes, not only showing up in penalties, but also in, in, in broken plays. And and routes that may not be running. They, oh, they're picking they're picking up the flag. Interesting. All right, four man rush for the Colonials now. And right through the rush. Ruiz, oh, just explodes up the middle of the field. We do a four-man rush, no extra linebacker back there, and he just go, watch and, this explosion. And yeah, take a minute. look at Pat Cronowet, too. Number 37, he takes the brunt. He is just the wall that he runs into. Big gain, up to the 34-yard line. The ball's out, and oh, oh that ball, you can oh, see it out there for a, and it's no, still fair. ball. Oh, I thought A.B. was going to recover. Once again, there was a little problem on the, there we go. They, they're on the handoff, is not a clean handoff. <laughs> and they're just absolutely just racing for the ball. Looked like A.B. was going to recover, but Cambridge player just brought it in. It's a 
The football is just the perfect shape for that. Uh, yeah, I mean, just, exactly. <laughs> That's... All right, Harding looking deep down the middle of the field, throws a laser, and this time he has that post route in play as he gets Cyrus Singh. And that is Singh. Harding pass completes the thing. David picks up a first down. Now, once again, I'm surprised that they haven't gone to him more. Good pass, good route, and a possible late hit here. And uh, we got away with one, I think. Falcons on the move. Ruiz cuts up, and he is just one He's tough runner. Gets close to first down yards. You know, it's a really strange thing to say, Tim. With eight minutes to go in the third quarter, and you've scored 35 points, and you're saying that anything can happen in this game, and that's true. <laughs> Reels, uh, the tackle. Don't bring up second down and short for the Falcons. All right, they fake the fly, and it's intercepted. By Vic Otero as he gets out on the edge. One man to beat. He just gets caught at the 30-yard line. Vic Otero, no flags on the field. It's A.B. ball. What a ball hawk there. Take a look at what Vic did. And Vic's got great speed. He doesn't, he doesn't have Nick Douglas speed, but he's got great speed. And take a look at this return. And Harding with those big hands just bringing him down, and it's a B ball. You know, it's one of those uh, plays as a defensive back, either Vic intercepts that or well, not a touchdown. Touched right, it's, yeah, exactly. You, you just take your chances. You pay your money, you take your chances. All right, under, under center. center, yeah, yeah. All right, we fake the. And there it is. It's complete. What a. Just a heck of a throw, a little stiff arm. Oh, look at Ethan and Lowe. Wow, all the way down goes Ethan Lowe. Look at Ethan Lowe doing his Heisman impression there. Whoa. Watch this replay. This is what this is one reception with an attitude. Look at the attitude here that Ethan Lowe displays. He said, get out of my way. You're not gonna bring me down. It's a 38 and, Delaware pass, really. Uh, and, the old playbook. And he gets 10 extra yards out of that. Great reception and a great throw by Finn Murray. Nick Purcello in the backfield. Now we're in a pistol. Well, I tell you, so many different formations. It's just it's hard to keep track. And it's Kyle Campesano chucking his way up the middle for a 10-yard gain. All right, that puts him over the century mark, and it's a first down, and they're moving the chains for A.B. Look at this, right up the middle. Look at that blocking. Marcello, nice block at the point oh, yeah, of attack. Oh, yeah, yeah. In the pistol and, again. And they, and they just keep those blocks. And they run the same play the other way, and it cuts up the middle, a little sidestep, and then eight Falcons he drags up to about the uh, four-yard line, it looks like, from here. Yeah, they just, uh, and we've got one Falcon down right now. And, on his, and yeah, with that player down in the field, why don't we just take a quick break? We'll be right back, folks. Shire, Caton, and Epstein PC, located in the historic Weatherby House, has been your community law firm for over 25 years. We have five attorneys and a supporting staff to serve your business, real estate, or estate planning needs. For more information on how we can assist you in your legal needs, contact us at 978-264-4655 or visit us online at www.skactonlaw.com. That's www.skactonlaw.com. All right, welcome back, folks. Uh, big number uh, 99 gets uh, off the field again, and uh, 
Samuel Figueroa. Yeah, he's a big guy. He's been uh, playing big tough guy. tonight. Yeah. The execution has been just incredible out of so many different formations. And as uh, Statman said, they're starting this uh, drive in the third quarter just like the first quarter drive. Wing T, and there it goes. We were in a little pet, little uh, cross pop. Actually, that's sorry. That's a uh, that's a Delaware, 38 Delaware, and get a couple right down to about the one yard line, maybe the maybe the two. And we've got another Cambridge another player problem. down. I'll tell you, this has got another player down the field. Can't can't see the number. Why don't we just take another quick break, folks? Hey America, is there anything you're truly proud of? How about becoming an aviation maintenance technician? In just 14 months, you'll be watching the metal birds that you just repaired soar back into the sky. I can't think of anything else to be more proud of. At National Aviation Academy, we train ordinary men and women to do extraordinary things. Welcome to your future. Your plans are ready for takeoff. 800-292-3228 or visit bostonwingman.com. All right, we're back, folks, and that is uh, number 15. Uh, Andrew Analyst up, and uh, yeah, he looks like, like he looks like he's ankle. not coming back. He, yeah, he's, he's he needs some help coming off, and I wouldn't expect him back in the game, and that's a big loss for Cambridge. In the meantime, we have a first and goal at the one. And we line up in uh, pistol again with Camposano at the uh, the eye back. And Camposano up the middle and he dies and touchdown, Colonials. Power of the carry touchdown back to Barkford. That is, how many touchdowns does he have now? I can't keep track. He's only got one. That's his first? Oh my goodness. No. Very balanced performance by the Colonials. Run, pass, oh, lots of players involved. The Sin Murray gets ready to kick the extra point here. And the kick is no good. That one I can tell. So with 5.36 to go in the third quarter, it's the Colonials 41 and the Falcons 13. Well, you mentioned it's a touchdown again. Watch yeah, this. It was easy. Nothing doing. Just go up and over. Too easy. You mentioned that the uh, Lincoln Sudbury uh, coaches are here watching this game and just wondering what they need to be thinking right now. They got to throw away the, uh, the the defensive game plan from last year's game against us. I'll tell you that. This is a whole different offense. Well, you made you made the point during the time timeout that it's not only the different, uh, you know, di different ways we're approaching the ball. It's the execution. And a short kick over the middle, but a good little bounce there, and uh, well defended. There's at the bottom of that is. Uh, See if we can pick up there. Number 63. Yeah, it's, it's uh, Matt Germain. Matt German. Yeah, Matt German, sophomore. Ethan Logue. Yep. Yeah. And Dylan Gambone. And now you now you're seeing seeing AB beginning to uh, substitute now with a 41 to 13 lead halfway through the third quarter. for a substitution against this explosive offense, but good, uh, good experience. These kids, okay. Oh, that's where you uh, attempt the uh, yeah. interception and you <laughs> pay right. for it there. Exactly. First down. And that was that was John Arsenault who was going for the uh, for the interception there, and that's a first down for Cambridge. 
It's been a while. Harding's still in there, but they're without analysts. The play action pass over to Madoff. It's complete. And they are going to take it to the house. Touchdown, Falcon, just like that. Well, that's what you're talking about when you say, well, maybe it's just a little too early to start substituting a beautifully thrown pass and a beautifully run route. And that is Gerald Bennett, senior wide receiver. And it is going to be 41-20 with a successful extra point. But I think they're going to go, once again, they're, not, they're going for two here. Over the middle, they got it. easy. That right, is set the point complete to Lakota. Yeah, Lakota, Lakota with, up to the third. with the conversion. They usually use analysts the there, but they 41. obviously David, didn't have them. So it's uh, it's just a 20-point game, and we've got we've got 16 minutes to play. And uh, if you look at the amount of points scored to the amount of minutes played, uh, anything's possible here. I would say that that such is just a little early on our part here, but uh, against a team like this, where you have this very, very explosive type of offense, where you know either one of these teams can, can score a touchdown in, in, in a minute. <laughs> exactly. And all you need is you know is a couple of turnovers, and then suddenly, take a look at this. Look at this pass, and the route is just perfect. Pass is perfect, right in stride. Put it on the kick for Cambridge. Okay, AB with a chance to uh, pad their offensive statistics tonight here. Now he mentioned that Lowell passed for 492 yards against yeah, yeah. his Cambridge defense. That's uh, almost unbelievable. Douglas back. Return. All right, they kick a squib down the middle, and Douglas gets it on his 25, and up the middle again, breaks a few tackles, wow. goes across the 45. Wow, it's like every time he touches it, you do expect him to break it. There's a flag on the play. There's a flag. Okay, that's Holy. coming back. That's coming back, and we're gonna be back around the 25 or 30 yard line. So these will be a chance to get back, back to Buffalo. Way back there, way back. They're, they're walking to the 25, and that's where we start with 4.41 to go in the third. At the Buffalo stop, first and 10 from the own 25 yard line. Had a lot of Cambridge players going down tonight. You're just wondering if it's a it's a conditioning issue. A lot of guys have gone down and then come back in the game and gone out again. A B in a pistol again and Nick Duck cuts on the outside and is out of bounds after about a 13 yard run. All right, look at this acceleration. He steps outside and then he turns it right upfield. And he just he just outruns people. So the offensive strategy for A B now is to just churn that clock. Don't let that the Falcons offense back on field, which is a good play in my opinion. Yeah, ball control would be a good good idea at this point. Douglas, he cuts back against the grain, a little stiff Ooh. arm, but well played. By the foul. Just couldn't get out of the grasp there. That was big number three. I know. LaVinson Felix on that stop. Yeah. 
Take a look at this. He cuts back, and then he cuts back again, tries to go wide, and just couldn't, couldn't turn the corner. with a first down run here to the market right at the marker. Let's see. I think they're going, he may just be just a little bit short. Now they're moving the sticks. They are, okay. Right at the sticks. There it is. Great catch. Uh, they call, they call, they call Wickman on the, uh, but it's uh, Pusillo on Rest the reception. The from their own 46 yard line. Three fourteen to go in the third quarter. All right, we're back to the read option. And here goes Kyle Capisano, pounding his way for another very Almost. close to a first down uh, run. And a changeup. It's a completely different Love offense now. You go back to that. Oh, you actually said so many different formations tonight. You get the pistol. The eye, the wing tee, the spread, you name it. And the execution has been incredible. I think right on the plane. It's either offside or or the blitz uh, led to a false start on the part of AB. Probably a false start. Yeah, they were they were coming. They were coming, and uh, that just led to a little movement on the line from the midfield strike. Well, you can see what they're doing, Tim, right now. They're changing up their defense. They're, 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 they're coming after it. They're, they're blitzing. They're run blitzing on every play here. And this, this, can, this can really open something up for AB, something deep, too. AB is... Uh, Finn Murray's going to the sideline for every single play to use that clock up here. 121 to go in the third quarter. It's a double stack. Murray looks, and it's complete to Stan Bernard for a first down. That's a good play. You, you need the yardage. You go back to your bread and butter, and there you go. It's just a, it's just a smart play. It's just a smart play. Bernard with plenty of cushion, and that's all you need for the first down. That's all you want to get is to move the chains and keep the clock going. In some ways, that may be the best play of the night, Mark, because yeah, it's just smart. You know, it's smart. It's it's when you needed to take what they're giving you, the execution's right there, and you know the the uh, Falcons knew it was coming, and you still execute it. It's just that that's that's great. We got a timeout. All right, let's take a look if we can at the top 20. Yeah, it's been a while. Like to report, if you want take to a go, look and who's number one? Everett. They're playing Lowell tonight. And uh, the only DCL team in the top 20 is Lincoln Sudbury, undefeated, number 17. And uh, our road gets more and more difficult the next couple of weeks because we're going to be playing Waltham and LS in the next two weeks, and that's really going to determine just what's going to happen in the DCL. This has really been an interesting season because you just we're just developing before our eyes week over week over week and it's, it's 
it's kind of like how the Patriots go. You know, the Patriots really it's aren't like, there until November. It's like a, a moth turning into a butterfly, <laughs> yes, you know? Right. All right, read option. Nick Douglas gets on the edge. He's got one man to beat um, just to get around the corner, and nothing there as he's scrambling. Douglas on the carry. Well, they didn't tackle him. He's he didn't like, get much, but they didn't tackle him. He went out of bounds. Back to the... Uh, Maybe a one-yard loss. Second and 11. I think you wear pink leggings. I Quick out to Otero, and great cutback here. Scrambles gets on the outside, and wow, just works for every single one of those four yards. I keep saying, I keep saying, pound for pound. You know, when he when he came into my office to uh, sell that little uh, gold card there for twenty dollars, you know, this is not a big kid, but this is <laughs> one tough football trial. player. And that'll do it for the third quarter. All right, we got 62 points in the books right now, and we want to thank our sponsors, Acton Pharmacy, Dunkin' Donuts, Gallant Insurance, Huntington Learning Center, Medical Aesthetics, National Aviation Academy, Shire, Caton, and Epstein, PC, Steinberg Lally Charitable Foundation, and TC Landos. Thank you very much to all our sponsors. Thank you, sponsors. We appreciate everything you do for our community. It's great to have you on board. And you know, uh, Tim, uh, we're, uh, we're on YouTube now. You can catch all the uh, action of Colonial football. You can catch it on Acton TV. We're on Wednesday at 7 o'clock, and it's replayed immediately at 9 o'clock. It's on Channel 8, Comcast, Channel 45, Verizon. And you can go on actontv.org, and you can go to YouTube and see our football game. We're syndicated we're, everywhere. We're, we're YouTube sensation style. <laughs> We may go viral. Oh, that's great. All right. 41-21 Colonials. Play action, Finn Murray with a little bootleg waggle for 11 yards, first down. Close to the first down, oh, geez, and we're about out. a that fourth. Like an and, easy one. Yeah, fourth. I thought he made it. I thought he made it to the chains, and it's fourth and two right now. And the Cambridge fans are yelling defense. We're not All right. and short for Cambridge crowding the line, showing run blitz. Ben Murray, and there it is. Let's see if they where they spot that oh, ball. Oh yeah, good job. There it is. Good what a great job first by down Priscilla. throw. Good job by Priscilla to hang on to that ball. That was not an easy catch, and it's a first down. Look at the execution on this play. Take a look. Take a look. first down. Look at Nick there. And turns. he held on, and that's a first down. He turns and gets that extra yard. Nick is on the tackle. Back to the wing tee. All right, 35 power. Kyle Capisano. Oh, just ran into his, his own guy, that's all. Yeah. Just Watch the guard, here's the guard going across, up the, up the hole, boom, yeah. with a block there. Sorry, Mark, <laughs> he, I had to call that. He just, he just, he just, out, he just outran his blocker on that play. second down. They run it the other way, of course they do. Kyle Capasano keeps going, hopping and scotching. Oh, did you see him drag that tackler? He, he, he drugged the guy for about five yards there. 
Take a look at this. Here comes Carter Cross okay, again. Okay, they got him by the Get ankle the now. The got him by the ankle. Look at Kyle. He's just, what strength. High formation now. And here it goes on the corner, Nick Douglas. Reaching yes, out, touchdown! The carry, touchdown! Well, it's really hard to <laughs> see that part point. of the field from this position, but uh, Douglas would not be denied. Another touchdown for Nick. All he has to do is, uh, is catch a pass down for a touchdown, and he'll have the hat trick. There he goes. He stiffs arm one guy, and then he vaults another. Wow, that is athleticism. I think that plays, you know, by design, it's a cutout, you know, at the line of scrimmage, like a stretch play. And the kick is blocked. The way to the point, kick is so good. So 8.59 left for the fourth. 8.59 to go in the game, folks, and it's 47-21 Colonial. Now, I think... If, here we go, take a look at this again. Stiff arm, and then vault, and six. We got the AB cheerleaders doing a great job. You know, we, we talk a lot of football here, but we've got uh, a band and cheerleaders that are here every Friday night, support this team, and they have their own fantastic program. It is great. Really, uh, it's just such a great school community. The student athletes are just terrific. All right, this time a bloop kick and a ball. Wow, good block on the edge. And out of bounds, the ball's loose. But uh, out of bounds already, all the way up to uh, see where they mark it, past yeah. midfield. That was uh, junior Troy Nickens on the, uh, on the, the replay. Yeah, he's a defensive back. But I'll tell you, he had a lot of speed there down the sidelines once he got going. Wow. That kid right. can They're at the 50. I think, I think if Cambridge does not score, you're probably going to see Nate Sullivan coming in on the next series. I wouldn't be surprised. If they stepped out about a midfield mark, unless they marked off a penalty that we completely missed, I'm not sure. All right, read option. And a little arch play there for about two or three. Kind of an unusual running motion there goes Jimmy Gurielin. Second and a long five. Eight eighteen to go and counting in the game. Oh, he was not set. Play action. But they didn't call it. Oh, almost got that ball loose as he scrambles. He's got time. He's looking downfield and he wings a missile. And oh, oh that, looked, that looked like offensive open. interference. Cyrus Singh. But it looked like it looked like Singh pushed off. If we could see that again, right at the end, looked like a hail mary. And Harding did a great job to uh, uh, evade two or three tacklers and was able to set himself. And then there's Singh. Here he goes, he's running, and then he stops, and look at Singh. Looked like a little bit of a push off there. And we've got another Cambridge player down. With that, we'll go to a break here, folks. We'll be right back.
I'm Saad Dino, pharmacist and co-owner of Acton Pharmacy, located at 563 Massachusetts Avenue in West Acton. Your source for prescriptions, medical supplies, and a flu shot for the winter ahead. Our brand new state-of-the-art compounding lab provides compounding medications customized to the patient's needs in a specialized form like a liquid, cream, or capsules. Compounding medications are a needed alternative for those that cannot take commercially available products. We are also glad to assist you in helping you understand Medicare Part D plans and choosing a prescription plan that is best tailored to your medication needs. And when you can't come to us, we'll be glad to come to you via our delivery service. Acton Pharmacy has it all, so put us in your starting lineup this upcoming season. Good luck, A.B. Fourth quarter here, 7.57 to go in the game, 47-21. And we have and another, number 76 another, yeah, gets another ankle, off the field in, here. It's, ankle uh, injury. Oh, someone's injured. And it looks like uh, McEvans Bologna, he will not be back, I don't think. Another big lineman. 76. pattern over the middle and that is a touchdown Falcons. That throw was a miss. That's a 30 yard throw. Did you see that? And when I make that Randall Cunningham comparison, yes. I mean that's what it looks like to me. That ball looks so small. It looks like a pea in his hand and he throws it right on a line and I'll tell you when this when this kid is on. Look at the fake he does here too. He says, Look at that. Yeah, and boom. And, and, he's, and he's got that Randall Cunningham body. He looks like Randall Cunningham and a great move. And that's the third touchdown for Tarek Lucona. Third touchdown reception, and he's got a two point conversion to boot. The coach's corner is going to have to be a two hour show. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Little lob pass in the end zone, almost intercepted. Well, we're back to a 20-point game, which means that any, anyone can win. <laughs> you know, I mean, wow. we still have a lot of time left. You, you get, you got a turnover and a touchdown. You, you're, you're in the ball game still. Either team needs a, just a minute to score. We're trying to basically churn the clock with this uh, wing D, and it's not working. It's just not churning up enough time here. Oh. Look at this, and look, and look at, look how effortless this pass is. And a great move by Lakona, great move, right to the corner. Cambridge has five or six really superior athletes on this team. What they don't have is they don't have an offensive line or a defensive line. They don't have depth but their skill players are as good as I've seen all year. Onside kick formation for the Falcons. Whoa, no, 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 he did not, he did not collect that ball outside of 10 yards. That should be a penalty and it should be A.B. Ball. That, he picked that up at the nine yard marker. That should be A.B. Ball. Take a look at this. Okay, you see right there? Goes five yards, it goes eight yards, and he picks it up at the nine yard marker, and that is, it's gotta go 10 yards. If he had a little patience, he would have yeah. uh, executed that. Just, uh, you know. In the meantime, we've got the ball on the 49-yard line of Cambridge. Let's see if uh, Nate Sullivan comes in or if uh, Finn Murray stays in.
That was very close to a recovery. That very close. Very good execution. I mean, I, they just had to just a little patience there, and it would have happened. Ben Murray back in. I don't want to take any chances with this Cambridge team, I'll tell you. Right up the middle. And good solid seven, eight yard money run. Goes Kyle Camposano. Now what they, can do, what they can do here, Tim, is just they can probably just run it in. Just, just go off tackle on every play and just run it in. Yeah, I think we're in, we were in motion there, I believe. There was a flag on his way. Uh, I wasn't campus on. Who was that? Uh, uh, that was Priscilla. Yeah, I think yeah, we might have like an illegal shift. It's going to be. It'll remain fourth down and about five yards. Okay, it's going to be second and long, second and about eight and a half. Douglas in the game. Six thirty to go in the game. High formation, another, another flag. flag. Kim Sano is going to break out for. 10-5 touchdown Colonials. Well, let's ho let's hope it's an offside. Let's hope it's an offside call. It's a legal procedure. That's going to come back. No touchdown for Camposano and a five-yard penalty against AB. But you can see how easy it is. And you know, you look at their defensive line and offensive line. It looks like you know they're, they're certainly big, big size. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think there's a conditioning issue. I, I, I've never seen so much. We probably had ten kids go down with some kind of problem this game. Second down, second and fourteen for All right, we're just we're just heading in the wrong direction. Five yards at a time. It's second and fourteen now instead of second and four. Campesano with the toss, and he gets met. Oh, yeah, after they about did a good job. Yards. That was Xavier Vervar Moran on the stop, linebacker. Brings up third and nine for Rackham Blackwell. Oh, do you keep it on the ground? Do you throw it? 5.44 to go. All right, little slot, quick pass, Nick Otero. Holding on to that ball, late hit looks like there. There's a well, flag yeah, and another yeah, one. And, and that might be just a break we need to get this Murray first down complete. back here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We've got, uh, I think Jonas is Still down. That's a 15 yard penalty against Cambridge. I didn't see exactly what happened there. If we could replay that and see what happened. Okay, let's take a look Number at the Number 87. Vic Otero was fighting for yardage, as he always does. There he is. There's Vic. And there's Jonas. And there, there's, there's a hit. There's a hit right there. Late hit. Right to his ribs. Hopefully Jonas okay. And that, 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 that's a real cheap shot. Real cheap shot at the end of a game like this. 
All right, folks, let's and, go to the uh, break. Coach, Coach Bassett is having a conversation with the re with uh, one of the referees right now. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go to the break. We'll be right back. Shire, Caton, and Epstein, PC, located in the historic Weatherby House, has been your community law firm for over 25 years. We have five attorneys and a supporting staff to serve your business, real estate, or estate planning needs. For more information on how we can assist you in your legal needs, contact us at 978-264-4655 or visit us online at www.skactonlaw.com. That's www.skactonlaw.com. All right, welcome back, folks. Jonas Weichman uh, is up and uh, under I tell his you, own he, power. He, he doesn't even want to go out. No, he's, he's pretty... Uh, <laughs> he's, he he he's is not <laughs> happy. I was going to use a word, but I didn't use it. He is not happy. Says, Coach, just give me one, uh, one breather here. 519 and counting. And now... Now I think they're going to look to, to uh, really look to score here. There's a, another penalty, and this could be a this could be a talking penalty because I didn't see any action on the field. Could be another personal foul. Getting a little chippy out here. Let's see what it is. The warning. Unsportsmanlike okay. conduct on the offense. A little retaliation. They took umbrage. That's what's called taking umbrage. Well, that's, you know, good, good for the refs. Stay in control of the game. Let's finish this thing the right way. That's a good call. All right, we got a timeout here. Yeah. Yeah, that's called that's called defending your teammate. I mean, that really, that really was a cheap shot yeah, really, yeah. to Jonas. I mean, that. So, Tim, while we have, while we have a moment here, we should talk about the girls' teams because the girls' teams are just kicking it. <laughs> the uh, the field hockey team is number one in the state. May Shoemaker, once again, she she's like the John Wooden of field hockey. She, she really is. She, year after year, she she puts the most incredible program together. And uh, we've got uh, all the other girls' teams, volleyball, girls' soccer, all in the top 10, all with great records, seven and one, six and one. Uh, so we've had a very successful fall season so far. That's and the boys' great. soccer team is doing well too. The boys' right. field hockey team, not so well. <laughs> <laughs> Coach uh, here is on the field. Uh, Coach Bassett asking for a little uh, clarification. And all right, here we go. Kyle Capisano picks his way up the middle and pounds his way, holding on to that football for a good eight-yard run. All right, that was a clean play. You were just, you were just kind of holding your breath to see if anything was going to happen after that play. A good clean run, a clean tackle, and they're back to the line of scrimmage. AB in a huddle, then getting the play. 4.32 to go in the game, 20 point game here. Seems like this last quarter is taking forever. Oh, right. We're gonna be, uh, you know, it's, it's 9.20, this is a late game tonight. Kyle Capistano up the middle again, just pounds his way up for another five yard run. And they still have a long way to go for first down. They had, they had miles to go for a first down. They're not even within 10 yards. It's third and 12 right now. You may, you may not see a run on this play. Even with the score 47 to 27 with 346 left. Another timeout. Be a great play. Great situation for a little uh, you know, play action off the off the uh, you know, dive. 
Well, really, two, two programs that seem to be going right now in opposite directions. Uh, uh, Cambridge looks like they're going to be going 0-5. Acton Boxborough is kind of replaying what they did last year. Last year, they lost their first two games and then won four out of the next five. This year, they've lost their first three games. It looks like they're going to win two in a row. Um, and, uh, you know, both of these teams uh, dealing with first-year coaches who used to be assistants. Uh, Roy Howard, first-year coach, a former assistant, Tim Bassett first year coach so they're they're feeling their way through this whole thing too along with their players well if i were the coach i would i would put the ball in the air <laughs> i just and i And if uh, Jonas were in the game, I'd throw it to him. Okay, we've got we've got a new quarterback here. We got Sullivan in. Nate Sullivan. I formation. A little miss handoff there, but good. Okay, Anthony. Good run Pedrino, under control. Yeah. Pitorino on the carry. Pitorino, fourth down. On the carry. He stays low and nice well, way Coach up. Bassett has shown that he's a better man than I am. <laughs> he's to bring up a fourth down. Not looking for revenge. Just looking to run the clock out. The next, the next two games are home games. There's a flag. Too much time? Too much time, maybe. Five yards marked off. And most likely this will be turned over to Cambridge they're going to keep, keep it on the ground, and most likely this will uh, be a possession turnover here. Ball another loose. flag, another Double flag. You know, between the penalties and the injuries and all that, we may not get out of here by midnight. Cambridge will take over run down. All right, it will be Cambridge taking over on down. The ball's on the, uh, let's see what we got here, 30, um, 33 yard line. Here's the replay, see where that ball pops out here. Yeah, never, never really had control. And Cambridge has a really big backup quarterback. Let's see if he comes in. Muhammad Barry, number 14. Let's see if they have Harding back in or whether they, uh, have number 14 come in, big kid. Now he's staying on the sidelines. And Harding is back in, first unit. They think they could still win the game. You know, they only need three touchdowns. <laughs> Throws short and uh, the ball's incomplete. Uh, he had a lot of time to survey uh, the territory there. I, th I really thought he was going to go deep with that ball. He was not under pressure on that throw. Field. What but a hit. Tariq Lukuna holds on to the ball. And with 2.22 to go in the game, the Falcons are on the mark. Yeah, he, is, he has had himself one heck of a game. And look at this. Look at this catch. And we had 
three defenders converge on one him. Arsenal in there. Looking for one more score here and an onside kick. And through the slot, picks his way, stays in bounds. The clock is running. Less than two minutes to go. I don't have number yeah, 88. Yeah, we don't even have an eight, We don't have an 88 in the roster here. I got like 19 different kinds of rosters for Cambridge. Maybe I have one in another. Cambridge taking their time, getting a play in here. Wow. Look at that throw. Look at that throw. That's, that's a beautiful Carol throw. Bennett. Bennett's been a really, uh, he's had a good game tonight. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. He does flick it like a little. Absolutely. <laughs> Just what ar arm strength he has. Again, a little flick, and it's a touchdown. This kid can throw the ball. Very Cyrus impressive. Singh. Cyrus Singh. He is Onside kick. You got a minute to yeah, go. No, you, you never go, know. You, you go for two. <laughs> Here's the. Watch this play action. Wide open. That's a money throw. You go for two. You make it a 12-point game. And he's and in. It's going to be two. It is a 12 point game, 47 35. One minute left. And they are right at their average. They were averaging 34.8 points per game over their first four games. So they're right at their average. And they've been giving up 47.8 games. So this game is statistically significant. <laughs> I never did well in the stats. No, I didn't either. All right, onside kick here with one minute exactly and to they, go. They uh, showed that they have an onside kick. They do well with it. And uh, All right, look at Singh making that move. Good hands, too. And he's extending his lead in Division II for, for touchdown receptions. As is Harding extending his lead uh, in touchdown passes. Here we go. The onside formation here. Well, this time it's a little less, so they're gonna kick it away maybe here. Little punch kick and okay, well covered. Well up. done, well done. Okay, Carl Terranova. Just hanging on to it, and now it's just time to run out the last minute. Well, Cambridge certainly didn't didn't give up. They didn't they didn't walk away from this game. They were, they felt they were in it and right down to the last minute here. Look at Arsenal go. Arsenal cuts up oh, and yeah. gets a 20-yard run. Whoa, nice job. That was a good-looking play. Here's the replay. Good. Right from the start. He just, look at, that. look at that, going around the left side, showing some speed, nice cut. Very like nice that job. Play. That's a design cutout. You know, it really is a very nice...
This could be the last play of the game here. 24 seconds and counting. Yeah, and take a knee. As a class right. A-B team does here. Hey, listen, we want to thank our uh, our wonderful crew, our uh, camera operators, Tom Asparta. Uh, in the booth, in the truck tonight was Brittany Ford, Pat Snow uh, doing the replay, John Murphy, Brian Coolahan. We want to thank everybody. We want to thank uh, Rick Degon, our director, our executive, uh, Mark Ducey, who was actually, I think Mark was on the cameras last week. Uh, you know, just going from his, uh, his big office here at Acton TV. But our staff does a fantastic job, and I think that you can see just with the replays and the slow-mo and the, and the work that's done by them and the production values, we have, we're working with a great group of people. So, thanks for watching this presentation of Acton TV Sports. We'll see you next week, folks.